Okay, 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 okay. Hiya everybody, it's your girl Sagan and welcome back to my channel. I put together this makeup look and it's pretty much an updated video on how I do my makeup. I've been doing this for a couple weeks now and I've been getting a lot of questions on Instagram Live with what products I use, how I do my brows, things like that. And I can tell you I've cut down putting on makeup by, I wanna say, I wanna say I'm saving about maybe 15 minutes, which is a lot because I used to spend a lot of time just doing makeup and sometimes we don't have time but in combination with what I've been seeing on trend on TikTok and on Instagram and things like that I kind of conjured up Segan's way of doing makeup now so this is an updated 2020 on how I do my makeup I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get started with the brows let's do that let's do that let's do it right now because I know you see it <laughs> if you guys aren't subscribed just yet, be sure to subscribe. If you guys want to leave me a comment, like this video, heart it, whatever it is that you guys need to do, it helps me and it lets me know that you guys want to see me do more videos. All right, now let's get started. <laughs> All right, so let's get started with the brows. But first, look at this whipped iced coffee. Look at that. Shout out to my girl Sarah. It was like her gift bag from her birthday last year and um, she gave us all one of these tumblers with her name in rose gold. Very cute and I absolutely love it because look at the ombre effect that this coffee is giving us right now. Look, take a look. Oh my god, shout out to my nails, shout out to press -ons. Uh The video should be up by now. If not, you'll see it on my channel. <laughs> okay, so what you're gonna need is the Goxy B glue, that's one. So the second thing you need is a spoolie. So I don't like to use the same one uh, I use to draw in my brows, but luckily I have an old pencil that just has no more, I guess, pencil in it. But I love the Benefit Cosmetics spoolie. Like there's ev everything about this product I absolutely love. So I always recommend it for people that are looking for like a good brow pencil. I like to use this to comb up my brows and use the product, use the got to be glue to comb my brows and then shape my brows. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do that right now. <laughs> so she says just to use a little bit and a little bit does go a long way. Like and that might look like a lot, but I kind of smeared it against my hand. So it's not very much. So I'm gonna take a bit of the product. I'm not gonna take a whole lot of it. But before you put on the product, make sure you comb up your brows. Now I'm putting the product onto my brow. That way my brows are not going to move and I can see exactly where I need to fill in. What I'm doing right now is I work the product in by combing up and then I'm just kind of shaping them to the shape that I like. So you may or may not have seen a difference. I know up close I can. So with this particular brow, I love to uh, kind of have a very detailed brow structure at the front, but right over here, if you could tell, like right here, I need to fill that in. So once the glue kind of sets, I'm going to go back and fill that in, but in the meantime, I'm gonna work on this brow. I just want to show you guys where I need to fill in and how easily I could just fill it in without having to spend. And honestly, on average, I spend maybe 20 minutes doing my brows. And if I do the concealer thing, clean it up or whatever, whatever, we're looking at like 30, between 20 to 30 minutes doing my brows. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, especially on my Instagram lives, you guys know that brows take me forever. I'm gonna make sure I brush up this brow. I did it already, but just for, you know, just to make sure that we do it. And then I'm going to brush up the product. This brow is my favorite brow. I hope you guys can see. Sorry if I'm bending down. I love this brow more because it has a lot more hair that I can work with. And I don't need to fill it in as much as the other one. If it's drying and you still don't have the shape that you desire, all you have to do is put some more product on and then it will start loosening up because it does get hard pretty pretty quickly <laughs> okay so i've done both brows 
continue. Sorry about the lighting, guys. It's super sunny and super cloudy. Toronto weather is really unpredictable. But let's continue. I'm going to fill in my brows and I'm just going to fill in the gaps and that's it. So it's not going to take me very long. I might actually even speed through this. But do you see how I just filled that part in and now I'm pretty well done. And then for any harsh lines, I just pat it with my finger so it doesn't look that bad. So we got a nice arch. I'm just gonna create a little bit more hair here at the front just to try to make it look not exactly, but as close to this brow as possible. So I'm done. And all that I'm gonna do next is just take some concealer and just clean out around my brow. You can use any concealer you'd like, but the brush that I love, love, love to use when I'm just cleaning out around my brow is by Real Techniques and it's in, it's their detailed, wow, sorry. It's been scratched off, but it's called their detailed brush. <laughs> So now that the brows are done, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to put on eyelashes and then put on foundation, concealer, and all that stuff. When I started doing this method or doing this way of putting on makeup or this routine or these steps, my makeup has been taking me less time to do. So I'm going to put on some eyelashes. So first things first, I'm going to take just a random mascara and I'm going to just apply a light coat to my lashes. So now that we've done that, I'm going to apply the glue onto my lash line and then I'm going to apply a little bit of glue on the lashes and then apply it to my lash. I saw this on TikTok and it takes zero seconds to put on your lashes after people have tried this method, so I'm going to do that now. Okay, that was maybe the fastest I ever applied on my lashes. Holy smokes, I've never applied lashes on. This whole week when I've been putting on makeup, even though I'm staying at home like everybody else, like, I don't know, this week I've been kind of just putting on makeup even if I don't record for the day or just do an Instagram live and that's it. Like, I'll just still put on some makeup. But putting on lashes literally take me so long and this literally took me no time and I'm actually quite shocked. So now that the eyes are done and my eyebrows are done, I'm going to leave uh, putting mascara on my bottom lashes until after I put on concealer and set it and stuff like that. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take my primer. My favorite primer is by Fenty Beauty. This is actually a fresh bottle. It's the hydrating primer that they have. I don't see enough girls talk about how their ears hurt them when they're trying to set their wigs. I don't know, maybe I have really big ears, but I'm going to take a color corrector. And I've recently started doing this because I took photos a couple weeks ago without color correcting. And I've shared this on my Instagram, but I've been breaking out a lot around my mouth uh, in this particular area. Just I always break out primarily on the right side of my face, but I did break out here as well. It's kind of gone down uh, but there's a bit of texture on this side which is really annoying but I need to cover that up and I'm gonna do that by using a color corrector a lot of people ask if I still use the sweet almond oil every night and I do every night before I go to bed I fell off a little bit but I'm back on track and I'm gonna do a little bit on my under eye because I do have dark circles and this color corrector is by MAC and it's their Prep and Prime Highlight Peach Luster. And yeah, it's kind of hard to tell, I guess, with the sun, but it's like a peachy color. It's not fully orange, but it's like a peach color. So I'm going to blend that out using a beauty blender and it's gonna dry down. Once it dries, I'm going to apply my foundation. Do you guys see that? I wish I did it before and after, but Actually, maybe I can. <laughs> with the magic of YouTube, I can show you what it looks like with just correcting the difference it makes. So as that dries down, I'm gonna drink some coffee. <laughs> 
So the one thing that I'm gonna do before I apply on foundation is put on a little bit of setting powder. To avoid kind of creases around my laugh line and things like that, I'm going to apply Laura Mercier in, what color is this? In translucent. And I'm going to just apply a little bit. When I don't forget this step, my makeup looks so much better. I mean, it still looks good, but it's just a lot better if I remember to do this. <laughs> so next I'm gonna take my foundation and apply a little bit. I'm not going for like full, 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 full coverage. A little bit on each side and whatever is remaining on my brush, I'll put it on my forehead. Okay, so now that we've applied on a layer of foundation i'm going to go in on some concealer and these are the two concealers that i've been loving lately um oldie but a goodie the age rewind um erase dark circle concealer by maybelline and the covergirl true blend undercover concealer i'm going to take my beauty blender and i'm just going to blend 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 okay so next i'm going to take that same translucent powder and i'm going to set much better okay so i'm just going to stand the rest of the tutorial because that shadow that was on my face was just really annoying and this is much better okay so i concealed under my eyes around my fine lines before i get into the blush the bronzers and things like that i'm just going to set my face with some setting spray Then I'm gonna go back and just make sure everything is nice and clean and fun and great. So for blush, I'm going to use the color Peach by Maybelline, the Fit Me little palette thingy majiggy here. And I got a lot of questions about this blush yesterday when I was on Instagram Live. So I'll link it down below for you guys, but this is the blush that I was using. I got this technique from Doja Cat. I think I talk about Doja Cat or I think about her every time I have blush on because when I saw that video of her putting on blush, I was just like, when are you gonna stop? And she just went in and I was just like, wait, let me try it and see if it, it'll look good on me. And it does. <laughs> mm, awesome. Okay, so for bronzer, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty bronzer in Beige and Gal. The more and more I use this bronzer, the more and more I think I may have gotten the wrong color, but... So before I forget, I'm going to apply some mascara to my bottom lash line. So to get a really defined, you know, lash, I <laughs> use this mascara. It's by Benefit Cosmetics. I've spoken about this and I've used this on my channel before, but it's called Their Real. And it's just like really, holy smokes. It really gives that detail that I want for my bottom lash line. Oh my God. Who is she? So the best lip combo ever, 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 ever is a brown lip liner. Any brown lip liner that works for you and Abu Dhabi. It's the perfect nude and it's the best. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so I'm going to line my lips with a brown lip liner. I saw a girl on TikTok do this, like where she takes a little bit and kind of does that. I don't see a difference, but for the center of her lips, we're gonna take that Abu Dhabi and then we're gonna put it right in the middle. Ugh. Ugh. I have to have at least like, that's it. That is it. Oh, apparently if you do this, but in front of the sun, it's it, it does it in slow motion. So let's try. Oh, shoot. <gasps> what the? This is so cool. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, so that wraps up. Let me put on some earrings, a little something. Look like some somebody. Like, you know? Oh my god, shout out to my mom. I did this look and I FaceTimed her. She was just like... <laughs> Who is this? And I was just like, it's me, your girl, like, you know, your daughter. <laughs> She's like, oh, okay. It's just the blonde hair. Like, I couldn't even FaceTime my dad. I was just like, no, <laughs> not ready for that. <laughs> no, I can't. <gasps> no, see, this is what happens when I play games. You see what happens when I play games? 
I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this blonde, ashy, whatever you want to call it, platinum blonde is giving me life and I don't know if I'm ever gonna go back to black. Just don't know. Just don't know. Oh, okay. Guys, this is how I currently do my makeup and I'm loving it. This is like makeup 2020. So as far as all the products that I use today, they will all be linked down below. If you see an Amazon link, that's just the Amazon store that I have and they have my lashes if you're interested in that. Um, a couple of hair products and a couple of products that are like my favorite that I buy on Amazon quite often. So if you guys wanna check that out, feel free, be my guest. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram and as well on my TikTok because your girl posts and goes on Instagram live at a moment's notice. So, I mean, if you want to have fun, if you want to ask me questions, if you want to be, you know, friends, I don't know, just follow me and um, we'll figure something out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.